Coming up next on MCN, the McAllen Cable Network, the Development Corporation of McAllen from McAllen City Hall. The Development Corporation appointed by the City Commission is charged with making recommendations on how to use money that's been raised from the half-cent sales tax that was approved by McAllen voters on May the 3rd, 1997. The recommendation is made to the City Commission. They make the final decision. And now, the Development Corporation of McAllen. I'll call this meeting to order. Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, October the 19th, 2021. This is a regular meeting of the Development Corporation of McAllen, Inc. We will start with agenda item number one, approval of the minutes for the regular meeting held on Thursday, August the 5th, 2021. Has everybody had an opportunity to take a look at the minutes? And if so, is there a motion to approve the minutes as presented? So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the minutes as presented. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. <clears throat> motion passes. Item number two, we're gonna review the financial statements for the month of September 30th, 2021. The financial statements before you are unaudited and preliminary financials as of September 30th, 2021. Um, there shouldn't be too many changes, um, but we are still clearing out invoices for the month of September through the month of October. Uh, the development corporation balance sheet currently shows total assets of 16.4 million with liabilities of 219,648, leaving the fund balance of about 16.2 million. If you turn to page 207, you'll see the year-to-date actual revenues uh, amounted to about 19.8 million, expenses total to 11.9 million, and other financing sources total to 1.6 million, resulting in revenues over expenses in the amount of 9.5 million. Revenues have a federal budget to actual variance of 684,411, um, the sales tax uh, contributed 1.4 million favorable uh, variance, while intergovernmental revenues had an unfavorable variance of 583,425. That unfavorable variance is related uh, to grant funding to a Quince Avenue at 27th project. Um, there are no expenses reported yet for that project, so we have not drawn down funds for that project. Um, <clears throat> Expenditures have a favorable variance, budget to actual variance of 8.8 .8 million. Uh, this is mostly due to ongoing projects that will roll forward to next fiscal year, or this in fiscal year 2022. Streets and drainage account for 4.3 million fair, uh, favorable variance, while other expenses account for 2.2 million. On page 507, you'll see the Ansadilla's cargo design accounts for 1.7 million of the other expenses favorable variance. And on page 707, Taylor to, uh, Taylor to Wear project um, will account for 3.1 million of the streets and drainage improvement. And under parks and rec or under recreation, you'll see uh, there's a 1 million variance for the uh, press box. Um, please let me know if there are any questions. If not, staff recommends acceptance of the financial report. Any questions? Seems like last year, uh, you know, with there being a nine and a half million dollars of income over expense, probably left some projects um, on the table. Maybe that it could have been uh, fast tracked a little bit more. But uh, I guess it's better to have that positive balance than <laughs> than to be on the other side of it. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it's a good financial report. Any, uh, any questions from any, anyone? The, the only comment is to be sure that we're on the same page on the uh, press box. 
Uh, we did budget the million dollars. We didn't spend any money, obviously, because they didn't begin construction. We expect that to be rolled over uh, here soon. Sounds good. Is there a motion to approve the financial statements? So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All <coughs> opposed, motion passes. Item number three. So item number three, uh, Mr. President, and we're going to change these, right? Because it's supposed to be president and vice president. Right. So we're, we're going to change that because okay. it says chairman. Uh, is uh, the Quinta project. As many of you know, uh, as far as we can tell, we've been working on this project for about seven years. And uh, it's been a labor of love, uh, not only at the staff level, but really the folks at, uh, at Quinta themselves, not only the staff that works at uh, Quinta, but the friends of Quinta that have really spent years um, going out to the community, helping us with, with the uh, legislature, helping us with UTRGV, to, uh, to bring in funds to do the project. We really, from the beginning, wanted to ensure that the community wanted this project and that we had participation from all you know, sectors of the community and our leaders uh, so that a $35 million project would be an endeavor by the community itself. So we think that we've gotten to about the place where we've seen all we're gonna get uh, and there's still some possibilities that we're still working on but we are short after some budget adjustments that the city commission did about 1.7 million. And so we're gonna have a short presentation of, to tell you how we got here and then what the request is for. So like Roy mentioned, the city of McAllen and Friends of Quinta have done a tremendous job in fundraising for this fantastic project. And we have been able to get to $28 million so far. Uh, Sergio will be talking about the funding sources, and Eduardo will go over the total project cost. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, I just, we got a quick presentation. We'll go through this. Um, as, as we talked about, good afternoon, Chairman uh, and board members. We're going to present the Quinta Mazalan Palm House. Um, the first slide we have here, just to kind of give a little bit of background to the project, and I'm not sure why that is, that's showing up. Um, but just to kind of tell you where some of the expenses are for the construction, uh, not including design and not including uh, the, the land value. So when we look at this, we have the park and ride, which is shaded in green there. We have that at $3.6 million. Um, that's the parking lot, the park and ride, and we've partnered with Metro for that project. Um, the other part we have is the Quinta CEU Palm House. That's kind of in a terracotta color. Um, that's the main area where we have the, the house and where the, the learning will happen, um, the event, kind of the little, air, the little rooms where you can uh, rent out will be there. And that cost is about $17.5 million, which is uh, the bigger cost of everything. We do have some add alternatives. We have the West Wing, which is an, adding a, a piece of the building that will be floating over the top. That's at 1.2 million. Then we have the amphitheater at half a million dollars. We have a skywalk which will bridge the nature adventure garden to the Palm House. Um, that is at uh, 370,000. I think I, I said the sky bridge was 3 million. That's 300,000, I apologize. Um, and then we have the west side landscape, which if you look off to the left, the nature center there, that will include all the palapas, all the water features, all the playground equipment, and that comes out at 5.5 million. For a grand total of about $29 million. Um, I'll move on to the next slide. The next slide kind of goes over some of where the missing values past 29 million come from. The land, the land cost, we have that estimated at $1.5 million. We already have the design cost, and, and that's an actual cost of $4.3 million. And then when we, we get the construction with our furniture, fixture, and equipment, that'll come to about $30 million. That gives us a grand total for the project of $36,265,463. Um, I'll pass it on to Sergio. He'll go, kind of go over where we're getting the, the revenues for this project. Uh, before you do, oh. one quick question. 
You mentioned the land. You want to, I, I can go through the slide if you want. Estimated at a one and a half million. Um, is there a contract in place to purchase the land, or how are we estimating? Yeah, that? and I think he didn't mean to say estimate. We've already purchased that land. Okay. And we've already paid for it. Got it. Yeah. What, one quick question, too, on that slide. What was the percentage of the design to construction? I know you had the furnitures and pictures included in there, but do you know off the top of your head roughly what that was? For FFNE? No, no, no. The, 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 the total construction amount? Oh, the design? I don't recall. Do you have that figure, Eduardo? I, I can do the math real quick. Okay. Yeah, just roughly. It's about 11%, a little 11%. over 11 Okay. I'm hoping I did that correct. Of the total project cost. Okay. Thank you. So, um, so total funding sources for the project amounted to $20.6 million. Uh, we had a variety of uh, funding sources, which included uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife Grant, um, the city had to had budgeted uh, funds in the capital improvement fund, received federal funding from a couple of sources, and Friends of Quinta fundraised uh, or uh, received donations and pledges of over three million, as well as from UTRGV of five million, from the Cal ISD of four million, and, and the Cal Public Utility of a million. The total project cost um, is thirty-six point two million, leaving us a funding need of seven point six million. Um, so a, a funding option was presented to the city commission, um, which included a a ten percent reduction to stimulus projects, uh, which uh, which would allocate two point one million from stimulus funds, as well as um, staff was able to identify other funding sources or other methods of payments for certain stimulus projects that amounted to two point seven million. Uh, so our original request from the development corp amounted to 2.7 million. So in that sense, 5.4 million got rebudgeted from, uh, well, when taken to the city commission, the city commission did uh, agree to add on the real estate purchases instead of 500,000 reduction, they added another 500,000, which resulted to a million dollar reduction in that project. Uh, so a total of 5.4 million was committed to to the Q project, and it's my understanding that other other sources have been identified of 500,000, which has now reduced the request to the development corp to 1 million 700 thousand 915 dollars, which is what the budget amendment amount is. Yeah, since our meeting on uh, a week ago Monday, uh, Joetta and the staff. Uh, met with the county mm -hmm. and two precincts have committed half a million dollars towards the project and that's why it's, it's been reduced since you saw it oh, okay from 2.7 to 1.7 Roy do you, <clears throat> do you anticipate the city coming back and asking the development corp to maybe participate in some of these stimulus projects mm -hmm. that that you're that you're reducing at a later date like I don't know if maybe the alleys or some of these other ones would fall under the purview of the development corp where we could bring those back to that's 100%. not been discussed uh trey um I, so the answer right now is we've not discussed that okay it, it was just we we picked some of the uh expenditures that we felt we had flexibility with mm -hmm. and uh and the commission agreed and so we made those it was only 10 percent cut to certain projects but um, take that under advisement okay other questions? So it was 2.7, and then you had, you got another 500,000, is that what you said? Right, no, from the presentation, even for, at the presentation, we were we recommended that we take 2.2 from the development corp. Okay. And because uh, even from the, when we put the presentation together to the city commission, that changed, and then since then, that changed again. And so the figure is 1.7 million, mm -hmm. 1 million 1,700,915,000. It's what we're requesting the development corp um, participate for the project. So, you know, 
considering it's a thirty million dollar construction, that's they did really well. Definitely. Now, where are the? Because I think we we are, we still have like seven point six left on to fund the entire project. Right, but you all, you made a change at the at the last city commission meeting to yeah. our budget, mm -hmm. so we covered the rest. Oh, okay. So yeah. that so with the one point from here. One point seven that does the whole thing. Yes, ma'am. Any questions, feedback, comments? Like we said in city commission, let's get it done already. <laughs> Might as well. I move to approve the request. I will second that. Is uh, is Reza on uh, online? Yes, sir, I am. All right, great. Just wanted to see that you were there. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's a motion and a second to approve the uh, the additional funds requested from the Development Corporation. Uh, I'd like to take mm -hmm. a vote. All in favor? One question, Roy. Yes, sir. Uh, Roy, you mentioned that, that, was it that the county had committed half a million dollars? Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, Commissioner Eli Torres and Commissioner Eddie Cantu. Okay. Roy, just, just double back um, to, to firm that up because I think at the time they were kind of under the impression that they would be able to use their ARPA funding. And I think recently they've gotten notification that that that's not an eligible expense for them. I'm not saying that they're not going to honor those commitments. I just, I'd like to just firm that up and make sure that even in light of, of the new, uh, I guess, decision that ARPA is not eligible, that they'll still, I know Commissioner Cantu is still solid, but um, okay. and we'll find the funding, but I just want to make sure you, 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 got, you guys double back and, and get that commitment from Commissioner Torres as well. Okay. We'll make sure to do that. Okay, so there's a motion and a second. I'll take a vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes unanimously. Is there any other business? That's it, Mr. All right. President. No other business. We'll stand adjourned.